Hello my friends of Hadrai Labs, my name is Ormo Toya. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to translate a geological model that was done in Leapfrog, okay, and was exported as mesh files and then uh, translated to VTK files, okay, and this process was done on a previous tutorial, so the link is on the, in the description, okay, so the units the geological unit from the frog is already on PTK, okay. And then we are going to translate that into a normal mod flow uh, model done in Model Muse. So here on the description of the video, you are going to receive the zipped version of this folder, okay. Then we open that, okay. And here on model, we are going to find a Model Muse project. So we open that as well, okay. And this is the model that is a model that has no no uh, param I mean has uh, only the geometry okay it has the, the just the default parameters for hydraulic conductivity and storativity so and then we are going to run it because we actually don't need the model muse project but we need the mod flow project so we have to create the num and the other files okay so we just run it. Okay, no output will be uh, no outputs will be generated, but on the model folder, the this, the num and all the other package will be generated as well. And this is what we need. Okay, great. So okay, so these are the mod flow pro these are the mod flow files and a text file. Okay, so we can open the okay this okay great mm -hmm. so we open anaconda mm -hmm. we go to documents we go to the how to export leapfrog mesh to here how to export leapfrog geological model to model muse Okay, and then we launch Jupyter Lab. And then we open on scripts. There is a script here that I'm going to talk about this. Okay. So first we import the required package and then we import the model. Okay, uh, there is a warning because we are having actually uh, having actually work um, defining any executable, but it's not necessary because we are going to re-import that to model news. Okay, we have we need some coordinate info, and why we need some coordinate info because uh, if you open just that it will start from zero, zero in the uh, lower left corner. No, in the, it will be zero, zero in the upper left corner, but we have to provide some information. So information, okay. And then we got the X, Y, the centroids of every cell as a list. And then we compile this list, okay, because this, is a list that has one matrix for the x coordinates, one matrix for the y coordinates, and 20 matrices for every layer. Okay, so but we uh, compile those lists in order to have just one big list, I mean, one big list of uh, a one flattened list, NumPy array of every, every, um, of every cell in the model, so that is like this. Okay, we use MP tile. This was the first time that I used MP tile, and this has at least a length of three million forty thousand cells. Okay, and then we transform this to polydat as a polydata. Okay, so we have this as a polydata. Okay, as a a polydata is an object in PyBeast. Okay, so we are working with the VTKs and then we are going to apply spatial queries. 
okay and this is the list okay this is the list of every btk that is on the folder okay so if you have more geological units actually it will list those geological units and it will it will give a id or like unit id because um, we are going to work with little codes okay so if you have nine geological units you are going to have mm, uh, you every geological unit will have a corresponding id okay and when you have to apply a hydraulic parameter it has to be with the id okay so and then we create a but we create a default little code i mean we create a list of all the cells with the length of all the cells in the model but it has a default value of five because if you see the little goes from zero to four so five so if you have a value of five it will be a cell that doesn't correspond to any a cell that doesn't correspond to any uh, to any geological unit so actually and that happens as well so you have this as a default value and then we will iterate for every for every lithology okay we are going to see which points are in this lithology okay and then we are going to get the index of those points and for these points we are going to change the default value of 5 to the corresponding lithology code okay this takes time so maybe i'm going to run it and wait a little bit till it's finished okay it has finished and maybe it took maybe around two minutes okay so we have now our list is not from values of five okay but, but it will have the correct for every cell it will car it will have its corresponding list okay and then we reshape that to the number of lays and number of columns and number of rows because these are flattened list so i mean it's a list in one dimension so we reshape that okay and then we show the for example we show the distribution for layer six okay so this is the distribution in little codes okay so and then we apply that we can define for which for which um for for any we can apply that for any uh, we are going to apply that for any uh, package okay so for example in most of 2005 you have horizontal conductivity uh, vertical conductivity solativity okay you can apply for any of these okay in this case we are only working with horizontal conductivity okay and then we create a value that where we assign for every little code which is their horizontal conductivity these are values and then for the default value we have also to give for the default little we have little code we have to give a value okay and then we uh, we once we from okay once we have defined the little we have once we define the the dictionary we apply this uh, we do a loop to every cell loop to every cell okay and then we define we apply for every cell its corresponding little code okay no it's corresponding value not 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 little code anymore the corresponding value okay then we can show the values okay now these are values these are values they are not little codes anymore there are values and then we change the working directory to working model and then uh, we apply okay so we apply our hk array we apply it to the hk of the package lpf right and then we can plot the we can plot the values from the package and here we can plot the values from the package because these are not 
values from the an array teaser value from the package just to check this is a double check and then we write the input okay since we have changed from the since we have changed from the working directory here in working models you will have well and it's still working because it's heavy this has this model has three million cells okay don't i mean with three million cells don't even try to do a parameter automatic parameterization because it will be a pain in the ass. okay so yeah i will do a tutorial on on modeling mesh with with floppy because floppy has great tools to to mesh okay so that is the model okay and this model has already the parameter of hk according to the geological model so we are going to import the model that we have tweaked or the okay so we file import modflow 2005 uh, no i don't want to change okay and then i am going to open not the model one num from model but this one model one from working model and the exorin we are going to apply the x and y here uh don't use this one because actually it chief it it's a mess i mean <laughs> use the upper left corner and if you don't know where is the upper left corner you just open your this file and here it says okay upper left corner is this coordinates upper left corner okay and then we do okay and we wait and why we wait because it actually takes some time Okay, it actually takes some time. It's not okay. So let me show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to make a pause and then uh, show you when it's finished. Okay, the process has finished. Maybe it has took three minutes. Okay, so we have the model. The model is the geometry is the same. But here we can show you the hydraulic parameters. Okay, so the hydraulic conductivity is Kx. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty heavy model, and that is why it's taking every step is taking so long. Okay, and it has 20 layers and 3,000, 3 million cells. Okay, well, I, actually, I, I realized that after. Okay, so, and I wasn't going to make a lighter, a lighter model in order to improve the, the, the speed. Okay, just to show you, uh, we are Hattari Labs. We are a platform just to take advantage of this time. Uh, let me introduce to our e-commerce e site where you can buy the different courses and the webinars will be given through this platform as well so here we have different diplomas that you can buy courses and just to remind that for every course and diploma you are supporting our project and the research that we do in the different parts okay the common diploma is a um, Diploma in groundwater modeling with uh, Python and Floppy. It's the first time that we give a diploma on this topic. Um, and take advantage that you can do and then you can post your questions live. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay, it has finished. So the color definition is not the best. So we use the log transform. Okay, great. And here you have the geological model. Mm -hmm. And then you can show it here in cross section as well. 
okay and this is the geometry this is the geometry of the model okay in the this is the geometry of the model of the model the geological model in leapfrog in model muse because we have used vtks and from the vtks we have um, imported through flopy through python and flopy and other stuff to uh, model muse and okay here you can have and then you can apply okay it has already the k values okay and well then you can you can apply the horizontal k the vertical k or the uh, specific storage and so okay thank you for your time and have a great day